So far on Animal Class, Anthony McLaughlin has introduced us to a bunch of his friends. A sloth named Bob, a pigeon named Michael. And don't forget a bearded dragon named Conan. And today, Anthony is bringing us the latest installment of the series. That's right. And today we're going to meet probably the cutest animal yet. Jim, have you ever heard of a slow loris? That's a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> I think you're thinking of the Lorax. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard of a slow loris, but it sure sounds exotic. It is. How did he come across one in Canada? Well, there's an organization called Hands-On Exotics that specializes in the care of exotic animals. Some of the animals are pets that were surrendered by their owners, and others were seized by the SPCA. Well, I am ready for Anthony to answer the burning question. What exactly is a slow loris? <laughs> Welcome to Animal Class. A poisonous primate that is primarily nocturnal and walks on all fours, the animal I'm describing is the incredibly cute and unassuming slow loris. I'm here with Amanda Corbett here at Hands On Exotics in Etobicoke. And Amanda, can you start by describing the features of the slow loris for us? So this is Wallace and he is a, a slow loris, which is a small primate from Southeast Asia. Uh, he is about 10 inches long or so and he's got great big eyes, really, really large eyes that he uses to see in the dark. It's funny because the, uh, he's got a bit of a shading around it, almost like a teardrop exactly, shade. Exactly. Yeah. And it almost makes him look sad, but as we've yeah. learned quickly, he's uh, he seems like a very happy critter. Yeah, he looks sad all the time, but he's just got those really big eyes to help him see in the dark. They mainly come out at nighttime and they hunt insects. His, uh, his fur is beautiful, it's like a golden brown, but he's also got some uh, some specks of silver. And exactly, in there. yeah. And he's got a little bit of a stripe down his back as well. Not super noticeable, but a little bit of a golden stripe through that silver on his back. So what would Wallace typically eat? Um, so he loves insects, as I mentioned, but he also likes really sweet things. So he'll eat fruit as well as the gums from trees, and he likes to eat nectar as well. So that long tongue would help him to lap up the nectar and the gums from trees. As far as his hands go, that's another really neat aspect about these slow loris is that they almost look very human, except uh, he's just got three fingers and a thumb. Exactly. So uh, he's got hands very similar to ours. He has thumbs on his front feet and his back feet, and that helps him to grip very strongly onto those tree branches, and he can even hang upside down. So that would be his typical environment. It would be in the trees in Thailand. Exactly, yeah. So at nighttime they come out, they explore those trees, and they hunt. Another feature I really like about him is uh, his ears. They're very open, so you can, I have a feeling that he'd have a good sense of, uh, sense of hearing. That's right. So he's got big rounded ears, so he can hear pretty well as well as see at nighttime. Um, and unlike most primates, he does not have a tail. One of the adaptations to help him with predators in the wild is that uh, poisonous patch that he has on his elbow. Can you explain that a little bit for us? Exactly, so he does have a bit of an allergen in his mouth. So that allergen is similar to a cat allergen, but it's a lot stronger. And they mix it with a secretion from their elbows, um, and that gives them a toxic bite in the wild. So they think that they're a lot more toxic in the wild than they are in captivity because they eat a lot of different types of food in the wild. Okay, but we don't have to worry about that right now. No. He seems pretty friendly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amanda, thanks for introducing us to Wallace, the slow loris. You're very welcome. Wallace sounds so cute. Big round eyes, small round ears. He's basically a furry ball. Sounds like me after a week of not shaving. <laughs> but he is venomous, so I'm sure he is not one to be trifled with. That's for sure. Well, there are several species of slow lorises, and unfortunately, all of them are endangered or vulnerable. That's because they're very popular in the exotic pet trade. It's the number one cause of their decline in population. Although they are very cute, they're hard to care for and often die from infection, improper handling, or inadequate nutrition. That's so sad. Yeah. Well, luckily, Wallace appears to be in good health and well taken care of. 